Mm, more fun with ethers here, and uh, this chemistry is not for the faint of heart. We've got uh, concentrated hydroiodic acid, very, very dreadful acid, and we're heating that up in the presence of this ether. And again, we should expect this will be, you know, this is one way to uh, get an ether re to react, and that is to use just brute force, expose it to a, a very harsh acid. In this case, however, because we have an sp2 hybridized carbon uh, on the other half of this ether, we should not expect to liberate an alcohol uh, followed by a conversion of that alcohol to an alkyl iodide, and that's because we've got an sp2 hybridized carbon here. So in this case, we should expect to get conversion of the alkyl fragment to an alkyl iodide. So we will get ethyl iodide on one part of this. And on the other half, what we should expect is an alcohol, and in this case it'll be phenol, and that's what we should expect to get after we do uh, conversion of this ether using hydro hydroidic acid.